There's your cover on and everything. So Dad's gone out. So. And he's bought a. This you just plug into here. DJI Mavic Pro. Oh, it connects by that. Yeah. And because that was in there, oh, and yeah. it was just too hard. The bloke said, "I can understand that." And you just feed in there, just so it sits snugly. And uh, here he is trying to put the control together before he gets flying. That's basically it. Mm -hmm. It's actually a nice controller. It's got some rubbers. And then to turn it on, you just double click it and hold it down. One, two. There you go. It's on. Connecting. Yep. And the same here. Two clicks. One, two, and hold it for three seconds. Simple as that. So, um... It's supposed to go straight to the app, but I'm just... He was anticipating uh, DHL turning up this morning with the Mavic, and uh, here it is. And, uh, what about the antennas? You have to take them out? Oh, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, put those antennas out, and don't forget that. As long as just straight and parallel. Yep. The question is, can Where he actually he fly this? Oh, my God. Let's find out. Okay, I'll do yep. this start. I'll do the normal. St I'll do this. It's doing the quick start. So the quick takeoff is uh, a swipe of the, the screen, and it uh, takes off to three feet. And then from there, you can take control of the quadcopter and uh, start flying. And if you want to bring it a bit. I don't know what that is. So what that uh, beeping is, it means there's an object oh. in the way and the sensors have actually picked up that there is a object in its path. It's the sensors. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, look, look at the gimbal, I've got it. So it's a bit windy. Yeah, what I do is, hey, let's, let's do this. I wonder uh, if I... Mm. Good boy. But the picture is very, very still on the screen. Uh, you wouldn't know it was blowing, and um, you wouldn't know it was it was windy. Uh, the picture is fantastic. So Dad's just taking it into a hover at the moment, and um, he's going to be checking out some of the modes that uh, you can select with the controller. Uh, there's a few different modes in there. Tells you the wind should tell you the wind speed as well. Height 6.3 meters. Yeah, so there's my focus there. Focus on us. And let's see if I can get... Look how steady it is, and it's blowing. So there's a few modes. There's tripod mode, follow me. Um, circling. And how do I get a tracking? How will I get a tracking? No, well, I'll search, I'll search it. I want to... I want to uh, do that thing where it just goes round and follows us. Yeah, it's just on the main screen. Where? No, it's not there. If I go to this one... I'm, I'm afraid, I'm afraid to... Run it and go around it. No, it's not there. So he can't work out the actual menu. Uh, I'm not sure whether he's actually read the manual. The what? You haven't read the manual. Oh, you? mate, I can't remember it. Right. What if I hit this? This is a controller. But, uh, in any case, uh, this particular quad is very, very easy to fly. Oh, here it is. So he's still in the hover. And um, my understanding, what he's trying to do now is select the track, track me mode, which will uh, enable the quad to actually follow a particular target. Uh, you can select that target on the screen by highlighting the object that you want to follow. And he's just trying to put that into uh, the quad at the moment and select that option on the menu. I must say he's doing extremely well thus far, having taken off and... Uh, oh, follow me, mate. Yeah. 
it's actually put the quad into a hover. So the basics are done. Let's uh, move on to the more advanced features. The great thing about this particular quad as well is that uh, the DJI Mavic is the fact that you know it's pretty much impossible to, to crash uh, given the sensors on the front of the quadcopter and on the bottom of the quad. Um, so if you are de accelerating and um, reducing your altitude it will come to a standstill before crashing into the ground. Also if you're in flight it actually won't uh, crash into anything as it's moving forward. But there is the potential to move, you know, to crash into something flying backwards or uh, to, the, to the left and right. Um, what happened there was that the quad had to be above uh, 10 metres um, before oh it would uh, go into a particular mode. So I wonder... uh, and that's just one of the prerequisites yeah, that yeah. Uh, it's got to be above Nothing a certain happened. altitude before you can activate so what do you do? Uh, what do you do? any of the modes. What's got here? Look. confused there was two of us and now and I think he's just uh, oh it's following it. got it in mode now so the quadcopter is actually following him um, and it's doing so through a visual uh, targeting system so it's actually seen him as an object and it's now moving towards him uh, and keeping within distance I think this is a 25 minute flight time on this particular quad. Um, we're only doing about a 10 minute flight today uh, as a first flight, just to get uh, the hang of the system and the features. So the quadcopter itself retails, uh, I believe, for around about 1600 Australian dollars. Uh, which is, you know, reasonable given the features of this particular quadcopter. Yeah. Like that. So that was a low power indication on the quad, um, given that he'd been flying previously. And uh, we've now got about a five minutes of flight time out of that. Um, second flight on the same battery and uh, he's doing a return to home landing now. And it will slow down before it actually touches the ground. And there we go. And it automatically switches the motors off. What do you reckon? That's good, isn't it? It's a very nice looking quadcopter from DJI. Uh, so that's it, you go to the control. And the propellers are very um, sturdy. That makes you set a pace. Oh, did you? So there's left and right. Is it? Yeah, so it's just one set. Yeah, one set you ordered. One set and one cover. And it does actually come with a spare set of props. So that's what you hit. That's what you hit, you hit the yeah. controller. Look at this Heffron Park, look. Yeah. You hit the controller, and these are all the terrain follow, waypoints. So you do points, home lock. Um, oh yeah, look. Gesture, yeah. active track, that's it. That's the one I should have hit. I want to do the active track where you just circle the object, you frame the object. So how much flight time did you have all together? Oh, I'm mucking around. Well, it's probably oh, got... Yeah. Who knows? That's all there is. That's yeah. it. Oh, there's much more. Then mm. you add other modes. You can yeah. add... You can go to mode 1, 2 and 3. Do, and then you can program these in mm -hmm. for whatever you want to do. Okay. Anyway, it's all good. good. Go back to normal. Well, this adjusts... That's your, gim that's your uh, camera. 
and then uh, oh, I've got a few things like that's your aperture. So you're getting mm -hmm. a little lighter, yeah. depending on how you're flying. And it gives you the, here. There's a two, three, two, yeah. zero. That's normal. That's good, mm -hmm. Autofocus. You can tap autofocus or focus over there. Yep. There it is. See, change this. Yep. Uh, where it's how it's pointing. <coughs> you can actually enlarge this. You can zoom in. Digital zoom. Times two. What do you mean? Yeah, there are two times digital there. On the camera. Okay. Where? On the camera. So there is another now, feature which is a two times digital flying, zoom, you zoom uh, and you can select oh, that with the button next to the. Uh, What's this thing? Uh, it brings up Google Maps and it shows you where it is. <laughs> and which way it's facing? You can do waypoints as well. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, that's what is, I'm uh, that, 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 Next to the right hand like that. controller. And that's on this. The control. The um, gimbal. Tripod, oh, tripod. mount. Uh, waypoints, there it is. Yeah, waypoints. So if you set waypoints, not taken off yeah, yet. Yeah. So knows exactly where it is, what yeah, it's yeah. doing. It's fantastic. I reckon by, by the time I come back from Melbourne, I've learned everything. So switching cool. off, yep. just double click again, shut down, and the same with this, double click. Hold it. That's it. Oh. I've got the charger. That's all it is. So this you can just do there. Do that. That's good because you can still fly it mm -hmm. in the evening. It's got the lights on it too. Yeah. yeah. But you don't have to calibrate every time you take off. You use oh it. no, it's just a once. Just a once forever. Yeah. I haven't there's only one tutorial where you calibrate all the mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. well, I've only looked at two or three. Hold that. And look how good that feels. I mean it's like yeah, a proper. It's like Solid, isn't it? Yeah, look how compact it is. There. There we have it guys, all done. That's all, that's all there is to it. That's it.